Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John F. O'Donnell, make some noise. How's it going, everybody? Cool, we're cool. What have you guys been up to? Hanging out? What have you guys been listening to? A lot of uh, Ice Cube solo work from the early 90s? I dig it, me too, man. That's when Ice Cube was crazy. He has a song called When Will They Shoot? This is the lyric, it's pretty grandiose. He goes, they killed JFK in 63, so what the fuck you think they'll do to me? Uh, nothing. Uh, put you in shitty movies with children? Uh, certainly not assassinate you, dude. I saw you in a Coors Light commercial yesterday, son. <laughs> Mr. Cube? Mr. Cube? It's weird when you call him Mr. Cube. <laughs> so I live here in New York. I dig it. You guys still think there's edge in this city? <laughs> yeah! Yes, there is! The book club I'm in is dangerous. We read books they used to burn a century. You're cool. I don't know, man. I don't know if there's been edge even since I've been here for a decade. It feels very pussified, very flaccid penisified, if you will. Gender equality. <laughs> but that being said, I like the city. There's enough weirdness going on, enough stimuli popping up to keep things interesting. I like to hear snippets of strangers' conversations out of context. I especially love when the thing that's said is so insane I can't even possibly figure out what the context could be. I heard a guy say this, he goes, you know, if that plane crashed, I would have made a lot of money, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> How, dude? How would you have made a lot of money, blah, blah, blah? Ah. <laughs> Are you some sort of demented gambler? <laughs> Who's placing long shot bets on planes crashing? Bro, like a monster? Yeah, what sort of odds can you give me in this direct flight from Seattle, Washington to Burlington, Vermont? Crashing due to engine failure, leading to the untimely death of over 100 innocent souls. 9.2 million to one. I'd be an asshole not to take that bet. <laughs> I got an inside tip from the Weather Channel. This one's going down. <laughs> But I don't know, am I a better person than that guy? I like to think so. Am I a better person than that fictitious character I made up? I hope so. But the evidence might point in a different direction. Last week, I picked up a girl because she was crying outside a bar. What does that say about me? I was like, oh, that's my demographic, good to know. They don't call me the rock bottom kid for nothing. Bang bang. Bang bang bang. Bang 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 bang. Hey girl, your life going poorly? Get over here. Bang 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 bang. Broken heart? I'll sweep up those pieces. Bang 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 bang. Girls like me, it's cool. Had a couple threesomes. Yeah. They've never gone well. <laughs> I went a long time ago, and it was me, a girl, and another girl. One of the girls was straight, but when she drinks, she gets kind of bisexual. Yay! And the other girl was a complete lesbian who wanted nothing to do with me throughout. 
And I remember doing it at one point, I just reached up my hand to grab this perfect, voluptuous, floppy lesbian breast, and she just swatted my hand away. So that was the first one. <laughs> And then the second one wasn't too long ago, and it was me, a girl, and another guy. What? What? Don't worry, he was a good friend of mine. It wasn't weird. <laughs> it actually didn't feel weird, you know? There was no boner rubbage going on. And how about this? I think it's difficult to be a woman in this culture in America these days, and maybe a woman sometimes deserves to be loved on and serviced and pleasured by not one, but two men at the same time who can lift her up and exalt her and put her on the earth. Goddess Gaia, Mother Earth status, put pedestal that she deserves after hitting on her at a bar for an hour while playing pool. Cause that's what we did. Then we took her back to her place. Real classy. And then we both started kissing her at the same time. And she's like, two? We're like, yes, two. Just go with it, you deserve it. And then we're, we're doing our thing, and everything's awesome. I think everything's going real well. But here's the thing, you guys. I didn't realize, after I orgasmed, how long they were going to continue having sex. <laughs> it was a long time, you guys. I was like, oh, so that's how adults do it. Good to know. Good to know. At one point, I just became the DJ in this situation. <laughs> I was like, oh, you guys are still going at it? Yeah, no problem. I'll put on the B-side of this Bob Marley record. Ah, uh, horrifying. Three white people having sex to Bob Marley. Uh, buffalo soldier. Dreadlock Rasta. You guys are weirdos, man. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes when money gets tight with comedy, I, uh, I do real estate. I'm a real estate agent in Brooklyn. I do a lot of stuff in, in Bushwick. So out there, I feel like I am a real frontiersman gentrifier, you know? I feel like I have a figurative machete in one hand and then just a satchel filled with things white people live in the other, you know? And I'm like, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're bringing yoga mats. We're bringing hypoallergenic puppies. We're bringing organic, just organic in the abstract. We're white people, we eat organic. We deserve to live forever. Turn this small church into a pink fairy. Weird job, man. And I will tell you this though, there are two words that you can say if it's like, say you're renting apartments to young professionals, students, artists, something like that. There's two words you can say that'll just make them lose their minds and orgasm out of their eyeballs. And those two words are expose brick. Mm. Oh yeah, baby, expose brick. Mm. I got some brick, it's so exposed, it's illegal in certain countries. Yeah. Mm. You know that thing you walk by and notice I'm building sometimes? You can have that inside your home. Yeah. You know what's cool about exposed brick? No insulation. Your bills are gonna be higher. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, I'll also rent you an apartment with all hardwood floors, also known as Floors, oh yeah, I'll totally rent you an apartment with floors, because I'm such a good guy, and I care deeply about your aspiring photography career, I care deeply for it. You ever beat somebody at pool who brought their own stick? Ah, uh, uh, 
especially when you don't even own your own stick because you're normal. Oh. Oh, I love it. Because here's their inner monologue. Their inner monologue is, all right, I'm going out tonight for the sole purpose of playing and winning at pool. I did not invest hundreds of dollars in this stick, which is slightly different from the free sticks that will already be there in order to lose, especially to somebody who didn't bring their own stick, because I equate way too much of my self-worth with whether or not I win at pool. That's their inner monologue. And then your inner monologue is, oh, look, pool, maybe I'll play pool. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then when you beat them, they have to do that unwind of shame. <laughs> Two pieces. <laughs> and then put it back in their little flute case. <laughs> and walk out. Oh, it's the best. Just to decimate, decimate somebody's life to feel alive. That's what it's all about, baby. <laughs> Would you guys agree with me that the word bestiality sounds way too cool to me what it means? <laughs> sounds like it should be a superpower, right? Don't mess with Steve, he's got bestiality. He can turn into a fucking panther. My name is Steve. I call upon my powers of bestiality. Not to fuck animals, but to fight crime. Roar! Turn me into a condor. Caw caw! Caw caw! Caw caw! So I can descend down from the heavens and stomp out evil. Roar! The only animal I fuck is my wife. Come on, folks, her har. She looks like a horse, folks, her har. Take my wife, please. One time, Henny Youngman. So this is the last thing I'll say. I think that Breaking Bad is one of the most overrated television shows of all time. Is something you can say if you want people to hate you immediately. I love that show, come on! I'm John O'Donnell, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your show, all right? John F. O'Donnell, the Beastmaster.